Welcome back to the channel guys. My name is Mike and today is day two of the demolition. That's right. Let me show you what we got going on if you're new to the channel or you did not watch yesterday's video. Yesterday I tore apart the, I don't know what you call it, the little, the little hood thing that was over the bar. We had a bar top. I ripped that out. I still got to get this wood out. Uh, I took working on now getting that post out I, there was a little railing there I took it out as well and uh, I changed my mind on something wait till you hear what I'm gonna do now a few comments kind of woke me up in the brain and I got to thinking why do I want to make the kitchen bigger okay why Let's go another step further. Why do I need an oven? Why do we all need an oven? We have, we've got air fryers. We've got microwaves. We've got slow cookers. I've got an electric skillet. What I need to buy is just an induction. And somebody said get one of those induction plates. So I did some research. I'm going to get one of those. One, maybe two burners. Why take up space with that big, large thing? Because it's traditional. That makes no sense. So I'm getting rid of it. Bam! Somebody wants it, they can have it. Otherwise, it's going to the scrapyard. There will not be a range stove, big ass thing in my kitchen anymore. So, here's how the plans have changed. All what you see here will remain the same. All right, guys. <laughs> I'm still working out the bugs from resetting the GoPros. Yesterday's video looked like hammered booty. So I hope I got them right today. All right, what I was saying in the last clip. All what you see here is going to remain, including my rusty old refrigerator. They do sell wraps that you can buy on Amazon pretty cheap to cover that up, make it look better. This thing works excellent. I've had it 12 years, and it was probably 10 years old when I got it. That's when Whirlpool was made in the United States, so there's no reason to get rid of that to buy a, a new piece of junk that's going to die on me, you know, in a few years. So all this is going to stay the same. I do eventually want to get a new countertop. This was just a temporary thing. I bought at a, a flea market. It's worked. It served its purpose. But what's going to leave is this stove. I hate to get rid of my drawers, but that has to go. That has to go. All this is going to go, and the wall is just going to have a little stub wall where the sink ends, and that is it. Everything else is coming out. That pole, this whole wall coming out, it's just a little stub wall. Now, I know I mentioned yesterday that uh, these poles were for support. But man, this has two by 12 uh, joists going all the way across. And I mean two by 12. These are sawmill. They're not one and a half. They're actually two. And you're only talking a 12 foot span here. So a, a two by 12 that big, you know, I think you can go up to 15, 20 feet. So when I was saying that this was sagging, I don't think it really was. It just gave that appearance. But now that I've shored all this up up here, you know, none of these were here when I moved in. What is going on with this camera? Uh, the displays are going off. Okay, it's still recording. So, that is going to have to stay because I like this, okay? Okay, <laughs> camera. I'm thinking the camera's shutting off and what happened when I reset the GoPro, the displays will stay on for two minutes and then they go dark and then I can't see what I'm filming. It's a, a energy saver or whatever. So those I got, I think I got that fixed now. So as I'm saying, all this is coming out. Uh, I'm not promising all this will be go done today. We're going to get what we can done. This wall is all coming out, but I'm saying this post will have to stay because I like this across here like that and that's not going to be a big well it could be a big deal but that's going to open this entire area up 
and excuse the mess, we're under construction. So, I need to get going. Uh, let's just get it all torn out. I'm going to disconnect the breaker for the stove and I'll leave the wire lay where it does. Anybody in the future, if I croak or decide to sell, if I decide to sell, I'll put a stove in because people are traditional. They got to have a stove. Not me. I'm going to break the mold on that. And, uh, and you guys know I'm right. You watch them shows where they're looking for a house and it's the guy and the girl and they're going around and they're going, I gotta have stainless steel appliances and the granite countertops. It's dated. I hate those shows. I hate them. I don't need any of that. So what we're going to do, look at the space. The kitchen does not have to be any bigger. It will not be any bigger than where the counter goes. Uh... I'm not even going to put another counter here. What I will probably do is buy a rolling island where I can roll out, put my cook stove on where it's out in the open. I don't need no daggone vent. Most of the time, all I ever use this cooktop for is to boil water or saute my bolis or stuff like that. Saute, by the way, that's S-A-W-T-A-Y-E-D. want to make sure you all know how to spell it. I haven't used the oven in a long time. Uh, I don't need an oven. I got crock pots. I've got two air fryers here. And that one's also a toaster oven. It's several things. So I'm for getting rid of the big and using the small and the end result of the food. What's well, going to be the same? All right, enough yakking. I've been yakking for minutes. Let's get on it. See how far I get today. This will probably take three or four videos to get this all tore out. We'll see. Especially when I still haven't found my hammer. this wall out of here and I'll use the pieces that I just took off here to put a cap on that. I don't think I screwed these in with screws they're just nailed in. Should be able to get them up fairly easy. I know I hate tearing up all the hard work that I did but this ain't working man there ain't enough room. This ain't. Man I mean each one of these I spent I don't know how many hours sanding. Then they got at least 10 coats of polyurethane on them each. I'll repurpose them. It's all custom fit stuff. That beautiful piece of wood. Uh, we're definitely going to do something with that. That ain't going to waste. Alright. Set this aside. And the last thing I need is more lumber laying around here but gotta do it man i got something in my head an idea and life's gonna be a lot better there's a lot of weird stuff going on here get that out we still have never used nails, but I never intended in tearing this apart. 
Here I am. And this cedar gets very dry. So you got to be careful when you're tearing it apart. Get out of there. Let's get this one. I know this one ain't tight. Yeah. <laughs> Another nice live edge piece. Oh. I want, to, I want to get this out because it's overhanging the floor and I need to get the floor out. That's the next step after getting this wall and this post out is getting this floor out. And then with this post, I'm just going to uh, show you. I'm just going to take the sawzall at the bottom there, cut it as close as I can so I can save this beam because we'll be needing that somewhere else. I'm gonna start right here, work my way back, pulling this plywood. That's what am I gonna put that stuff, man? I'll take it up to the loft or something. There's one four by eight sheet, I believe. The rest are just little. Oh, and you're wondering, where are you putting all that wood, dog man? Huh? <laughs> I don't know. Come look. Is that good a place as any for me? Just gotta make sure no nails are sticking out. That rooster's gonna get nosy. And she has gotten nosy. And put an eyeball out. Where are you hiding? Oh, you're down there. You got one of my socks. Hey. Why ain't you helping? I could read a dog's mind. She cussed me. Alright. Normally, let me get out of Normally what I would do, let me get this camera. You guys are never in the right spot. Never. Alright, what I got is nails toe nailed in here on this board but it scares the, it scares the hell out of me to cut that metal in here as dry as this cedar is so I'm going to cut it ahead of it and hopefully not make a huge mess It's broke. I still got four wheels, but two are laying there. What else is up there? I'll have to fix it later. Man, that's messed up. Same way.
Well, if that security camera didn't work, it don't work no more. I don't see anything that could vibrate out of there. Went by the pawn shop, picked me up another one of these arm, their backs to chairs, good knee pads. All right, there we go. Above the nails. Anywho, get you up there where you can see it. Oh, all right, we are ready to pull the floor. Yep, gonna be fun. All right, I took the first two steps out, I didn't film it. As you can see, back when I built all this stuff, I used what I had available. So I built the stair, the stair treads <laughs> out of something I'd used for something else. Hey, it worked. Them things are hard to get off. Now the good news is, let me put you in there, see if you can see. There's nothing that's been living in there. I don't know if that's even getting under there. But there's not even no droppings. It's just... You know, you got to keep in mind, you build something like this, stuff's going to get under there, it's going to get dirty. That looks like hay, you know, stuff that's been drug in from outside over the years. I mean, this has only been up here six years, so hasn't been real long. Uh, I did what I did at the time, as I thought it was a good idea, but <laughs> that was not a good, it looked good. I think it came out good, it just, it's not useful space and it didn't serve me any purpose uh, at one time I had my office up here for a while and then I bought a new table to put my computers on well it wouldn't fit with the desk chair so then I moved my office over on this wall and then I, as you if you watch the videos uh, I, don't, I don't even want to show you this because I got a lot of crap in here and then I finished this office out so this is holding a lot of stuff. My clock that I took off the wall. Yeah. So we got this finished. And for now, I'm leaving the ceiling. There's nothing in there now. But yeah, I want to get all this taken care of. And then we'll go get some more of this tin. And I, right now I'm debating, do I just want to continue this on this section and then leave this wood? I think that would look a lot better. It would certainly be cost, you know, cost effective. Uh, I do need to get a new ceiling fan. That thing, the light broke, and, and if I can get a new light kit, I'll do that. But maybe leave this wood. But if I do that, I'm going to take all these off because when I this was the very first thing I ever did with cedar, and I didn't know put it together. I, I gapped them, and now as you can see, there's huge gaps in it. So I need to cut them back, uh, cut them off, uh, square them up on the table saw, and then put them back up. But that's if I decide that's what I'm going to keep doing on that. I don't know. All right, so we're going to go ahead and pull this floor up now and get all the floor joists out. Uh, I, I looked at an old picture, so I know they were going, I think I went 16 on center. I don't know. None of this was, <laughs> and this was put down with Phillips screws too. All right. Here we go. Well, I thought it was going to go easy, but I nailed the floor. That's what you should do. So I had to get B A P B. Do I have to spell it out for you? 
pry bar being the last two initials. Come on, B.A. Baby. And that was actually the first thing I saw when I opened the shed. <laughs> it's like a miracle. I don't know how I'm gonna be able to salvage this. We'll see. If not, oh well. You just stuck it back down, didn't you? Oh. LAPB. Obviously, I'm not going to film all of this. Okay? I know there's some of you that are going, film it all. Well, I don't got that much film. I don't. Let's get busy. Woo, you don't want to step on that board. That's one of them, what you call bear, bear trap things. Put in front of your door in bear country. Yeah, I say you just seal your place up good enough where they don't mess with it. been slow going. I had to take a break. Because oh. these are nailed down, not screwed. Which is proper. Pry it up and then push it back down. Then you can get this thing on there and pull the nails out. It's a lot easier. 
but I could use my hammer. I don't know where it is. Alright, let me get in here in a little. Boy, the place looks so much bigger already. Stop! Oh. Ah, here's a nail. Yeah, buddy. Pulling and prying is not fun on the back. It has been a battle. Everything's up except for the end. That piece is really down. I gotta get it. Alright, let me work on it some more. Ah, you're going. Ooh, look at that camera lens steam up. <laughs> we'll work through it. You're like, what'd you do with that big old piece of plywood? Well, let me show you. Miss Tilly's in that barrel. And I laid it right there. I don't care what it looks like. It's going to keep them dogs cooler. And all she's got to do is what Miss Melly does. And go off into them woods. And it's nice and cool in there. But she won't do it. Let's wipe this thing. That's how we got 93% humidity. It's 90 degrees right now. It's going to go up 10 more. Look at them puppies, they're in the shade. They're doing well. I need to get them to settle down a little more. But they'll be alright. Even the chickens are out. Woo, the humidity's more than the heat. Yeah, it is. I got my truck over there because it's the only shade. It really ain't shade. Alright, look at this mess, guys. Woo, oh man. Get this nice and dried up. But well, it is nice and dried up. There's Waldo pooping. <laughs> All right, already. It's looking bigger. All right, all I got to do now is take this out. That shouldn't be half the problem of getting, oh, I got to get that one piece up yet. That's halfway off anyway. Then we'll have all this, the same level as everything else, which one of the first things I want to do is put a floor in this whole cabin. So that's going to be a lot easier with all this gone. It's going to be a whole, go a whole lot quicker to floor it. So I need you guys to watch my videos because I'm going to need the income to fix this up. And I'm, I, you know, I'm not promising this will be done in a month or two months or whatever. Just whenever I get to do it and the funds come in. So watch the videos, share them, and uh, we're going to get this place looking nice. And I went to town today, and I've been hearing that noise in my truck. My back shocks are bad. So <laughs> i got to stop in uh, next week and get some new shocks put on, because that bouncing noise drives me nuts, probably from hauling all that gravel that I did. Now, I put new shocks on it last year before I got it from the shop in the front. I should have went ahead and did it on the back, but I didn't. So, all right. I think I got all them nailed, too. Boy, that was an awful job, but it worked. <laughs> that was terrible. There's a cup of water under her bottle of water. Now, all I found in there, there is a little debris, but there, it's little bitty mouse poop. You know, you got something like this, they're going to find their way in there. But, and that's where I was getting that smell from that corner. So I'm going to get this all swept up nice and lice all the hell out of it. But I don't see any rat stuff in there. That will be up there. So I'm not disturbing that for now. That's going to be the last one of the last things I do. All right. And also been considering if I'm not putting an oven there, which I'm not. The kitchen's going to stay where it is. I, I'm thinking of putting another window in there. Because that would really, really let a lot more light in here. Uh, 
it'd be very easy to put one in there. Uh, there that's the only, really the only spot I could put a window. Uh, when I came here, all the, I bought this place, that was just a big uh, patio, sliding patio door. And very first week, I hit it with a rock, broke it, and I didn't like it anyway. That looks ridiculous on the front of a house. So I put all this in. I took these windows from the old laundry room that was back there. I took them out and I installed them here and I put the door. And I also put in that skylight thing up there. That really made a difference on the light because it was dark in here when I first bought it. So as you can see, I put sheet, I don't tape sheetrock. I just, I knew I was putting something over it. So I didn't bother taping it, but I may go ahead and tape it, you know, to help. That's going to hold the cold air and stuff, keep from coming in. So that's why I'm not going to get in a rush. Uh, it just ain't ain't worth it. I want it done right. I want to fix my water lines in there. And I did look. I seen them. They're, they are in front of the they are in front of the uh, insulation. So that wasn't the problem. The problem was up in there. You can see the one water line. Maybe let me turn on the light. Where's the switch? Water lines are right there. They are inside the insulation, but it's open air in there. Uh, so it's getting cold so all I need to do is wrap those pipes up a little better and they should be fine but we're tearing all this down it's getting in the, in the metal ceiling on this part it's just going to continue back here I haven't decided if like I said I don't know if I want to do that out here but I might I think I just don't want it to look like it too much metal you know that's what happened with the cedar there's too much cedar and under this is this but this whole wall is coming out. That'll probably be tomorrow's video. Taking this down, taking this down. Today I'm going to rip. I got to get this up now. So once we get that done, that'll be the end of this video. Because I got to drag it out, man. And I've been at it for four hours now. Just doing what I've done. So I'm trying to clean as I go. Vacuum. I got a little Bissell vacuum that I'm cleaning as I go. Got my magnet and I'm getting the screws. So let's get this out and call it good for the day. Everything is up. I swept it up. Those little pistols are good, but boy, they, you, they don't cover much area. 
it has an attachment that goes on there, but it don't work good. I just need to go buy a regular vacuum. Because even when I put floors in, that's the only way to do it. Especially with that little rooster. So, tomorrow, if you tune in tomorrow, we're going to remove this wall. We're going to try to remove all this. And there's wiring inside this one, so it may get tricky. I don't think so. And I noticed something. This this really isn't doing a lot. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm, you know, what's the point in opening all this up if you got this stupid pole right in the middle of the room? So I'm going to take this piece right here. I'm going to move it up. Well, actually, I'll get one that's the same size as that and cut it just like this and go from here to here and get this pole out of here i'll cut this pole right here get it out of here and i've got all this open i could put a sofa here a couple of chairs i mean this gives me so much more room and uh it's going to be a war zone in here for a while but i'm trying to clean as i go because you have to because you have to live in it so and then I got, there really wasn't anything but a little bit of mouse poop, you know, and I'm using this, this here Lysol, so this kills 99.9% .9 of germs. Well, what's that other 1.01% it doesn't kill? It's going to be stinky, dude. You're going you're gonna to smell something, her little nose will start going. What's that smell? Look at her little nose. Hey, look here. You're camera shy again. All right. So I got to get this wood. I've been trying to get this wood out of here as I go. So, and we're going to get that off of there. I don't know. What have I started? But actually what I'm going to do isn't going to be that expensive because I'm not adding anything. I'm taking things away. I'm not buying a new stove for $800, then have to buy $300 worth of wire, $150 for a vent hood. I don't need it. So I'm going to start a new thing. You don't need a stove, and no, this has nothing to do with the president saying he's taking away gas stoves. I've never had a gas stove. I don't need a stove, period. Not with all the gadgets I got. I can live without it. And talking to my dad he says yeah you can even go to Lowe's and get the just the flat burner top so I'm gonna go in there and look at that but we'll see we'll cross that bridge when we get there appreciate y'all watching keep watching I'm gonna try to get one out every day at least until the demolitions done and you know I sit here every night and I look and hey I may have a whole new idea tomorrow but uh, this is what we got so tomorrow, say bye-bye to that wall and that wall. And like I said, we'll probably just, we're gonna put a little stub wall equal with the sink there, but it'll be much lower. You can see now this comes up to my chest. So all I gotta do here is take the screws on the bottom of these boards and they can be pulled. And then, <laughs> what do we got here? Mike Dunn. 2016 age 50 so I put that up there seven years ago yep see that's how I roll but I'm the one who's saying it happy trails